Hey guys, um, I've lost the, the nipple off the, uh, the clutch cable. It popped off. And so I'm going to have to make another one. Um, I found a nice piece of hardwood. It's, this is an, um, an olive wood, in fact. Um, I measured up the, the nipple from the other side, and uh, it's just the diameter is just um, about 7.7 millimeters, and the, um, the length of it, of the cylinder, is 8 millimeters. Okay, so I drilled a hole um, with a 7.5 milli drill and drilled it down 8 millimeters. And there's going to be a, the, the, the tip point of the drill a little bit deeper, but we can, we can tidy up. Um, the next thing I did, as you can see, I slotted it. I slotted it using a jigsaw blade. It's a bit thicker than, the, than a hacksaw blade. And, um, and took it down to four and a half millimeters because the, the cable, the bowing cable, is two millimeters. And, so, and it's eight millimeters uh, deep. And uh, so I needed to get it down to four and a half, and that leaves a little bit left to finish with a drill, so the depth would be five milli. And then the, the, the bowing cable would be perfectly central. And so using a um, two milli drill in a Dremel type affair, it was just a case of um, milling the, 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 the slot down, and then finishing it just takes the curve and then the um, the bowing cable can just sit nicely in it and so that's ready now for um, yeah that's the mold ready and uh, we just need to set up the um, how, how we're going to hold the cable in place and uh, and then get ready for for soldering okay so I've um, I've got the the cable supported in a, gently in a vise and if we look here we can see that um, the cable is running through and I put a bit of um, bamboo skewer on top of it and then the mole grip to just clamp it down so in the hole uh, the splayed out um, wires of the bowing cable Okay, so that's a nice setup um, for us to do it. I'm going to uh, dismantle it and uh, I'm going to um, treat the the cables and get them uh, and get them ready for uh, for soldering. Yeah. Okay. So um, I've degreased with uh, petrol and um, got a wire brush in, a fine wire brush, and cleaned down the um, the, the wires of the Bowden cable, splayed them out a bit to get any crud out of it. And, um, and then final degrease in acetone. It's possible that you could um, etch the, the surface with some acid, but I've just, uh, I've just done, uh, done it with the petrol, the wire brush and, uh, and the acetone. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dunk it in, in this um, Plumber's acid, um, which tins the, um, the the metal at the same time, and I um, it's French pâté d'étain sans plomb. So it's um, it's tin um, without lead, and um, yeah, and it's got the the acid acid warning signs on it, and uh, it's kind of like a grey a grey paste, and it just makes soldering um, so much so much easier um, so you just it's just a case of dipping it in like that and you can see well, maybe you can't see but anyway it's, it's a great paste and uh, and it's on and that's it and apparently that acid is going to help and um, it gets all around the um, the the wires and 
Yeah. Seems. That should be fine. So we're going to assemble, and then we're going to um, um, drop the uh, the solder onto it, and we'll see how it works. Okay, so I'm going to start um, dropping. success. You can see. Yeah. So it's slightly brown. The first um, as it went on it sat above the, uh, the cable and then as it all melted and the cable got uh, sufficiently hot then it sank down and then I could top it up and top it up to that uh, to that point and um, yeah let's see what we've uh, what we've got yeah it's not uh, perfect it's, I think it's gonna be fine um, but I think you can see that at uh, this end um, which was down in the bottom um, not enough solder ran around the bottom. There was maybe um, a pocket of air um, that built up. And so I think it's going to be key to try and get more uh, solder down at the bottom, maybe by um, cutting some small pieces of solder first and dropping it in the hole so that it's already there and it will just melt around it. Um, so that's, yeah. A little bit of fine tuning uh, required, but yeah, I think that's going to work. Uh, it certainly certainly seems strong enough, and it's got a good uh, grip into all the the wires. So yeah, yeah, it's going to go back on. All right. Yeah, and one last thing. Um, don't forget to to rinse off. Just give it a bit of a soak um, in water uh, to uh, to get rid of the the acid paste that. That had been put on there that remained in the um, in in the wires. Um, I've tickled it up with a file, and uh, yeah, it's fine. And it, I've offered it up to the to the bike, and it and it fits perfect. So uh, I'm hoping that that's um, that's completely uh, fixed. That okay? I think overall success. All right, bye for now.